Hey, what's going on guys? So for those of you unaware of Luke Harris, remember the name because you'll be hearing a lot more of it in the years to come. He's a 17 year old midfielder from Jersey, which is the largest of the Channel Islands located between England and France, who's been making headlines for this past week or so after getting called up to Wales' senior side and signing the first professional contract of his career at Fulham, which will keep him at Craven Cottage until 2025. The former is particularly impressive given the country are fully focused on and a mere two months away from competing at the World Cup, which showcases just how highly rated he must be to get a look in despite not making a single senior league appearance for his club thus far. He's eligible to play for England, as well as Scotland and Northern Ireland for that matter, but has a strong connection to Wales through his father's side of the family, so is likely to rebuff any call-ups from the other three of the four nations which make up the UK. Personally speaking, I'm delighted that Fulham have tied him down on a long-term deal. They've lost Harvey Elliott and Fabio Carvalho for absolute fucking peanuts to Liverpool in recent years, and were also unable to convince Matt O'Reilly, who's playing out of his skin at Celtic at the minute, to remain in London due to a lack of clarity regarding a pathway into the first team in 2020. Don't get me wrong, big fish eating smaller fish is not just the way football but also life works. That being said, you want the clubs responsible for developing these players to get a fair fee, which Fulham now very much will once Harris is inevitably sold. In terms of his style of play, the lad can feature across midfield but is very much at his best in central areas. He's got a real eye for goal and has been tearing it up at under 23 level despite being significantly younger than his counterparts, finding the back of the net on 13 occasions from a mere 18 league appearances, which included an 11 minute hat trick against Newcastle, a club he happens to have grown up supporting by the way, as well as 4 goals versus Burnley. In some ways, he's a throwback to midfielders of yesteryear, who arrived late in the box a la Frank Lampard, someone Harris happens to base his game on, even if his favourite player is Cristiano Ronaldo. While he's capable both technically and physically, what truly sets him apart is his exceptional reading of the game, which always seems to find him being in the right place at the right time. What convinced me that he's ready for the big time is when he scored a hat-trick against Chelsea away, who had a backline containing Ben Chilwell, Trevor Chaloba, and Ethan Ampadu, all of whom have featured for Chelsea's first team on numerous occasions. It's no wonder they're being linked with a £30 million move for him, although I hope that's just rumours more than anything else. In regards to how he'll cope with the rigours of Premier League football, the kid's dad was an amateur boxer and is a sport Luke partakes in himself to improve his fitness, so I wouldn't be too concerned about whether or not he can handle himself. Fulham have been a real breath of fresh air this season, and I'm hoping they can continue from where they left off after the international break. It's only a matter of time before Harris is given minutes at senior level, and I'm hoping he can establish himself as a first teamer by the end of the season. Cheers for tuning in as always folks, please do let me know if you have any questions in mind, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, and wish you a great week ahead. All the very best. Peace.